So what's up guys, it's Dragonblaze here. Today we have a new episode of Inazuma 11. Today we are going to play against All Stars. I was about to say Inazuma again, oh my god. That, that's a, that's like such a such a huge word. It's, it's such a common word to always say, like Inazuma, we're going to play against Inazuma National. We're going to play, uh, we're playing Inazuma 11. I was about to say Inazuma All Stars, but that's that's not the team. Um, All Stars International All Stars. Now that I think about it, they're called International All Stars. Uh, so we have this new team. Um, I say new because last episode, I think instead of Samford, I had um, Julio, Julio Acto, and I don't have him right now. I just wanted to, um, I well, like I didn't really replace him. Um, on purpose. Um, before this, I was getting the whole Dark Phoenix going, so I had like all the characters for Dark Phoenix in one team, and I um, played with some of the same characters. Because again, if you play with the same character, if you play uh, with the same like version of one character, like two Gavits and stuff, like you can get a little bit more friendship for that certain character, so that's cool. Um, so I was playing with a team like that, and um, I pretty much rearranged everything again to get all the characters that I had for the uh, for the you know, for the series team, because I had like three Kevins and uh, three Nathans, and that's definitely not going to be the series team. So um, I had to uh, grab everyone again, and I did not grab Julio Acto, I just grabbed Samford at some point, and I was like, you know what, Samford actually fits a lot better on this team. So uh, yeah, we're going to have Samford for now, instead of, um, instead of Julio Acto. Also, I probably have changed up the... Um, the positions of some uh, characters. I really don't know what the team of last episode was, but um, this is better if you ask me. So yeah, um, today we're going to play against international all stars, and it's gonna be amazing because this team has a lot of characters that I really want. We have Helio, we have Torres, and I think that's about it. Um, I want Helio and Torres because those are actually one of my favorite characters in this game. They're also, by the way, on my um, on my last um, was it again on my last team on the uh, on the dream team. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it the dream team. That's a way better idea, a way better uh, name for it. Um, so we have uh, Helio here. Helio is gonna be the new goalkeeper when we get him. We have Thiago Torres. He's going to be one of our um, new defenders. And also, I might be thinking of getting uh, Bianchi and then also um, Khalil because I kind of like this guy. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Um, but that would be about it. Don't plan on getting Alfred Lee, Keith, Gruger, Eric, Robingo. I never get this man. Or any of the bench players. Like Loki, I could get this guy as like... Uh, as like an extra goalkeeper, but um, Helio is enough, really. So yeah, um, I was actually recording before this, but my dad interrupted me, so... <laughs> um, I, uh, I had to stop recording because um, I don't want to try and resync everything in um, in Vegas. That's such a drag to do, so um, I just started to... Uh, so I just decided to restart the episode. But uh, it's not that big of a problem, it's really not that big of a deal. I lost about two minutes of my life. <laughs> Ah, they're never getting back, but whatever. Uh, this team is awesome, though. Number one, they have amazing music. Not that I can hear it at the moment, because I never listen to the music um, of the game. Because um, if I listen to it, it's probably going to be from the Elgato, it, um, from like the Elgato, so that um, you guys don't hear my, um, so you guys don't hear my music. Oh. Uh, this actually a glitch in this game. They fix it in the next game. Wow, he's amazing. Um, yeah, but that's a little glitch actually in that um, in this game. What I mean with glitches is that whenever um, Axel goes for fireball screw, you actually do not see the ball. You don't see the ball at all. You just see like Axel kicking like air, and then like the fireball just goes, um, just like comes at the goal. And that's pretty. Much Can we score? Ah, oh, it's bad. Oh, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, that uh, that's actually kind of funny. I don't know if there are any other glitches really in this game besides that one, but uh, the fireball screw one. Um, I mean, it it doesn't really look hilarious, but it's kind of funny how. Oh, what the heck? Okay, well that that was short. <laughs> Um, can we please, can we get material for the, uh, for the Emperor Queen number three, uh, two? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, but actually I can't wait for, um, Emperor Penguin number three to, um, be on the, uh, be on the team. Because 
every character that can use Emperor Penguin number three can uh, can activate it. So we have a better move for um, what's it again? For Samford, we're going to have a go-up shot for what's it again? For uh, Stonewall. And that also means that we can have uh, a cooler move for Jude. Even though I um, I like to have my character. Oh. Um, even though I like to have my characters that use co-op shots to have different co-op shots than they than the one that they already have. Wow, you already have TP. Oh my god, you're probably happy as heck. Um, like Nathan and uh, Axel, I could give both of them Fire Rooster, but I never do because I really don't like that. I just want to have them with different moves. So yeah, um, I would like give Axel, like you guys have already said, I would give it like Twin Boost V, and then um, and then I would give uh, Nathan. Um, what's again Fire Rooster? Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're going to score here. Nice. Ah, oh, but this man did stop two goals already. Like, really. Um, Helio IMO is one of the... I think... I feel... I'm not too sure if I'm going to say this, but I feel like he is the best together with Mark, I guess. Oh, God. Ah, I want this man so bad. Like, seriously, Dodas is so cool. Um, but I feel like Helio is one of the best, um, not co-op shot move, um, goalkeeper. And, oh my god, Shadow has, like, no TP. Hopefully we can, uh, ooh, hopefully we can score now. So that we can, uh, switch out, um, Shadow. Again? No ball. Oh, okay. Oh, Holy has 31 TP? Dang. Alright, let's go replace Shadow. Shadow has used two Diabolical Cuts and it is immediately done with everything. Um, I think I'm going to have Hobbs. And who am I going to put in the defense? Well, I think it's time for my bro Nathan to be in the defense. <laughs> Again, like always. Like the good old times. Um, and we're going to have Hobbs as... Yeah, we're going... Are we going to have him as a midfielder? Um, I kind of don't want him as a midfield. Oh my god, his kick is D? What? His guard is a C and his body is a C. Okay, well, I guess we're going to keep you as a midfielder then. Wow, I thought your kick was a C, man. His kick can only get to B. Well, like, I guess I understand because... Well, like, in the anime, he was portrayed as, like, the... Like, a really, really powerful kid. And he was... And I'm not too sure if he was at the end of like, you know, like at the, um, at the match against, um, uh, versus Africa, um, versus like Little Giants. I don't know if, if he was on the bench or not. I don't think he was. If he was, then screw up. Um, but I really, um, I really was surprised by, uh, how powerful this man was. Like, really, they portrayed him as like a really awesome and strong character and he really was. Like a really powerful kid that would always improve and stuff, and he he literally did. Like he first got okay, so first he started the uh, he did Tiger Drive, and after that I think they did Tiger Storm, and then after that I think he got um, Gladius Arc. And then after that, he got, well, in, well, like, in the dub, it's called Remote Combustion, but I don't know, um, I don't know anymore what it's called. Which happened? Okay, so I don't know what it's called in Japanese again, but I think it's called RC Shots. Um, I don't know what kind of reference that is, though, so, um, oh god, here we go. 
Ooh, that's actually a really cool shot of Paladin Strike. I'm not too sure how strong it actually is. I think... Oh, here we go, the Fiend Hand. That shot is actually so cool. Fiend Hand. In the anime, it's even cooler. Oh my god. Like, it was... It legitimately was the most surprise. To be honest, Fiend Hand might be one of the most surprising uh, moves in the in the anime. Because it... it it just straight up because of the person who uses it. Oh, we need to get the ball out of here. Oh, okay, well, whatever. At least you don't have TP. Oh shit, I fainted away from the ball. Um, let me see. Can I maybe get the ball? Oh, okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. I need to get the ball to. I just want to get the ball to someone other than Nathan. That's all. Like, I don't want to have. Don't want to have the ball to someone that uh, needs to like get all the way to the front to oh god oh. I don't want to get the ball to someone that needs to like go all the way forward to try and charge it up because um Hilo didn't even have any TP so that's why I wanted to get the ball to someone else um okay let's look at the TP real quick okay yeah I already know the shadow is empty okay everyone is fine let's go and continue um the team is almost complete though like we only need I think I think we only need like Helio and Torres and then I think my team is like exactly like the team I had that is the dream team so um yeah Torres and um and my buddy here are going to um finish everything up let's go though Oh yeah, I actually forgot to um, I actually forgot to mention that um, was it again. Oh, whatever. Um, that oh, let's go fire it up. Uh, that Austin also got um, Gladius Arch at I think the match against England, and uh, yeah, that was that was pretty surprising and cool. Like really, I, I love it when characters get like random moves out of nowhere, and then they also use the move in like other episodes because otherwise I think it's kind of meh. Reasons why I am not the biggest fan of the birth, because it was used once, like at random. Like it doesn't matter that it was used at random, you know. But like use it more often. Like um, Kevin got uh, randomly, he just came up with Wyvern Crash, and then he used it in other matches too. And then, uh, like, uh, okay, what what is what is there um, otherwise too? Um, I think I don't even. Oh wow. Okay. Well, um, I thought I can just score with. Um, with Astro Break, but uh, apparently not. Um, also, what was it again? Oh yeah, uh, Frost and Axel came up with Crossfire, but then they used Crossfire V2 like in the next season. Like that is what I like. I don't like it when there is like a specific move that's like Retreat is so awesome and cool, and then they don't use it. It's the same thing with like um, it's the same thing with like the um, the first season when they were going against Zeus. And Zeus was like stopping everything that they shot at them, and then they were like, "Oh no, we used we used all of our special moves, and they and they are beating everything." And it's like, "No, that's not true." Good game. Um, but yeah, that, that's just not true. They used the Inazuma break literally like two matches before that. And then they're like, oh no, we, we can't do anything anymore. Like, why is it like... And it's like, no, that's not true. You have the Inazuma break. You have like the Phoenix. <laughs> you have straight Pegasus. Oh my god, wow. Good game. That's, I, wow. Shit. This is why we need Helio. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of um, bad from the first season. Because, what what did they shoot? They, they shot, like, twin boost and stuff? Yeah, I think they shot, like, twin boost. Um, let me see. They, maybe they have shot the Phoenix. I'm not too sure. Um, and 
maybe like a dragon tornado or whatever. Like, I, I don't know, but they didn't... They, I definitely know that they did not shoot the Inazuma break. And, um, and I was disappointed. Because they were like, oh no, they they, sh they blocked everything that we had. And it's like, you have the Inazuma break, you know, like, use it. Um, also, like, they didn't really need to use the Inazuma break, though, in the match we, um, in the match against Kirkwood. So I guess I, yeah, I'm not gonna blame anything. Um, what was kind of cool in the match of Kirkwood was, because um, I do remember this um, match because I watched it a few, um, a few weeks ago. Um, was that... I think Axel and um, Axel and Kevin did like a dragon tornado. That the dude blocked it, but it was like one of those rebounds blocks, um, or well, uh, catch moves, where like he blocks the ball, but like the ball like bounces away from him, and then he and then Axel jumps and goes for a fire tornado and scores. It was like amazing. I was like, yes, that is so awesome. Like, no, why, why does this not happen more often? Can we score now? Soul Hand is so broken and OP and awesome. I need this. I need this man. Also, um, I think that um, I think that Helio has like one of the best designs in the game. Like he, he looks so cool. He, he straight up just looks really cool. I really want to have him. Um, I think I'm gonna go for Twin. Oh, okay, never mind. He's he's empty. I think. I was about to say I'm, I think I'm gonna go for Twin Blue. Nah. Oh shit, I had to go for Twin Boost for you. Welp. Do we still score? Never. Oh my god, he's so strong. Um, we could maybe score with a... Um, with a legendary wolf, but then... Um, but then Frost needs um, DB for that. I guess what Frost doesn't have. DB. This team is kind of tough, actually. Like, they have a goalkeeper you just cannot really get uh, past if he uses his level 3 catching move. Um, oh my god, I knew that I had to go for com uh, remote combustion, but I didn't want it to um, risk not scoring. Alright. Oh yeah, also, in the, um, because I've actually played uh, 2013... Um, yeah, it's just 2013, not extreme or whatever. And um, Helio actually has got it in this game, in that game, which is quite awesome. He also gets um, God Hand V, which is amazing. Like I, I actually have God Hand V on him in 2013, and he's also my goalkeeper because he is, like, really. I do think that he's like one of the greatest goalkeepers out there. Maybe not in 2013 because there are actually a lot of good goalkeepers in um, 2013, um, and that you know. Oh my gosh, we got the hurricane. I can see that because of like the Nathan and uh, and Frost. <laughs> Yeah, we got the hurricane. Nice. Wait a minute. Is their friendship at, thir at 75? Oh my god. Their friendship is a 75. 75 plus, I guess. Wow. That is awesome. Okay, let me just check Nathan and... Um, oh, not Frost. Nathan and Kevin. Ooh, we're getting very close. Oh yeah, we're getting really close, actually. We're getting really close to the, uh, to the Dark Phoenix. The Darkest of Phoenix. Oh my gosh, what? You have, like, no friendship with Max. Oh, my God. We need to work on that. I need to get Dark Phoenix. Oh, my Lord. Like, Dark Phoenix is straight up, like, one of my favorite moves to put on Nathan. Um, I like to put uh, Dark Phoenix and Flurry Dash on Nathan. Because uh, Flurry Dash is just, um, it's just old school and really cool. And I like it. Um, you can now have David Evans. Okay, we're going to have him immediately. Uh, yeah, Dark Angels. Okay, I had it right. Uh, where's the coach? <laughs> Look at the coach teaching everyone. Okay, let's see what the text says. It's let okay, it's lecture in the team. All right. Um, Z change coach. Yeah, there we go. Uh, look at this man, Mark Evans' grandfather, a legendary keeper who developed many moves. A hey, LMAO. Okay, let's go to scout and let's go and get ourselves. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, not, not, no, not Jonas, d d uh, no, fuck, uh, Hector, Helio, and then where is he, Tiago Tor, wait a minute, I'm not too sure if you were 470, but you should probably, you're 470, you're 470, you're 470, you're 470, oh, you're 420, okay, um, also Torres is 420, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Oh my god, 420, I just realized. Um, let me see. I think this is about it. I think if you scout him, you get the, um, you get the Korean version of, um, was it again, of Burn and Gazelle, or Torch and Gazelle. Sorry, that is said Burn, that, that's the, that's the Japanese uh, name. I do like Burn, I also like Torch, both are fine. Uh, let me see. I think I am going to replace. Um, who are the people on the bench? I think it are Hobbs and Axel, if I'm correct. No, no, no. It's not. It's not Axel. Actually, no. It's not Axel. Axel was on the was on the team. Who's on the bench? Um. Oh, okay. It are Hobbs and Xavier. Okay. We're going to replace those people. Team management, and we're going to um, Xavier here. Going to replace him with my friend Helio. Oh, wait a minute. We we are actually going to um. Let's get rid of Hobbs. For Torres, and we're going to replace. What's it again? Um, you, Chance, with Helio. Going to put Torres here instead of. Oh my God! Instead of who? Oh shit! Oh my God! Decisions, 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 decisions. Hmm. Now that I look at the team, we actually need to um, do like very specific characters and you can only get them like at the end of the game, so mm, the team is not done yet. Um, oh wow, I actually did it though, you can have the character here like above the change team, uh, team members text. Okay, that's funny. Oh, I've never done this before. I legitimately have never like gone to this place before with the with the character. Oh, <laughs> alright, sorry. Um... <clears throat> I think it's a good idea if I replace maybe DM, but also not because I like DM. I don't think we actually need Axel anymore. Let's replace Axel to be honest. Yeah, let's replace him. Let's put him over here. Yeah, let's put Torres over here. At least the defenders are the defenders that I had on my um, my first team. These are the defenders that we're gonna keep. Um, then also, wow, I think I fixed the team. Holy crap! Wow, I that was fast. I fixed the team. Not bad. Um, let me see. Uh, we're going to have the hurricane on you. We're also probably going to have the hurricane on you because I don't like Wyvern Blizzard that much on um, on Frost. He says it really weird. Wyvern Blizzard! Like, I don't like that. Come on, dude. No, please. Um, I think yeah, having these guys is okay. The chance as an extra goalkeeper is not okay. I think I want to replace him. I really don't need the chance. Well, maybe I should have him. I don't know. I really don't know. I just want to have Hobbs on. Um, I think that should be alright. Yeah. Okay. At least I have the defenders that I always want. So that's really cool. We have the defenders that are going to stay. These these are the three defenders that are going to stay. Yeah. And um, yeah, that includes um, Stonewall. He is um, he is going to be a defender. Definitely. I love Stonewall as a defender. Um, yeah. That's pretty much going to be the going to be the episode, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will try and get Killer Fields going, or no wait, sorry, uh, Field of Force, oh my god, I keep on using the Japanese names. Um, I'm going to try and get Field of Force going so that we can have some um, some strong um, dribble moves for Jude and for, um, what's again, for Caleb. So yeah, that is about it. I don't think there are any other moves that I can try and unlock, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.